also it also do the inverted flap, but the gentleman said he wants the procedure done in just one surgery, and he wanted it to work, and he said that he needs to go back to work in seven days. So I, you know, for, and then I saw that the retina was very contracted, and I could not like approximate the edges. So I took a, a new neurosensory sensory graft and just placed it. Uh, not on the hole, but actually use a soft tip just to kind of lift the edges of the hole itself a little bit and to tuck it in inside. Uh, and while doing it, I, I, uh, that was also uh, done under purple carbon. And then I, I wanted to make sure that my hole was actually closed because I couldn't uh, approximate the edges because it was very stiff. And then I, uh, uh, I could put gas, but since this was my first case, I put 7.0 oil, uh, not only um, because I wanted to see how the, the, the healing is uh, done. And as you can see, his vision was very poor. And then uh, like uh, one month after surgery, his vision was 2080. And three months after surgery, vision was 2060. And the OCT and geography also showed the incorporation of the patch. So, you know, it's interesting to think uh, whether the photoreceptors in the patch itself also functioned or whether just you were used as a scaffold for the retina to heal. Comments from the panel?